This skill module covers contaminant removal, acid, gas, and mercury removal at the core knowledge level. This section discusses why this topic is important. Produced gases are often contaminated with CO2 and H2S and other sulfur species like mercaptans, carbon disulfide, CS2, and carbonyl sulfide, COS. These are also variously referred to as trace sulfur, other sulfur compounds, and total reduced sulfur compounds, or TRS. Mercury also is found in most well streams and may be present in elemental form or as inorganic and organic compounds. From a gas processing viewpoint, mercury is a problem because of its toxicity and interaction with aluminum and aluminum alloys. Brazed aluminum plate fin heat exchangers, BAHX, are widely used in low temperature gas processing plants and coil wound aluminum heat exchangers are widely used in LNG liquefaction plants. Mercury can attack aluminum by way of two corrosion mechanisms. One, amalgam corrosion, and two, liquid metal embrittlement. A secondary problem associated with mercury is accumulation in equipment. This is normally an issue when concentrations are high enough to allow condensation of mercury in production processing facilities. It should be noted that mercury can bond to steel surfaces in pipelines and production equipment, so unsafe concentrations of mercury may be present even if liquid mercury is not detected in the system. Mercury can also act as a poison for some catalysts used in hydrocarbon processing. Mercury can also be absorbed in common gas processing solvents, such as glycol and amine, and will concentrate in the vapor stream, leaving the regeneration system. A common mechanical specification for low temperature gas processing or LNG liquefaction facilities is less than 10 nanograms per normal cubic meter, which is equivalent to about 1 ppt on a molar basis. Hydrogen sulfide is a toxic gas and extremely poisonous, essentially as deadly as hydrogen cyanide. It is colorless and has a rotten egg odor. It is flammable and explosive in air mixtures. The combustion product is sulfur dioxide, SO2. Sulfur dioxide combines with atmospheric water to form acid rain. It is corrosive to many metals. Here are two corrosion mechanisms in carbon steel systems. The first is metal loss corrosion. H2S dissociates in water to form a weak acid. The corrosion product is iron sulfide, which adheres tightly to the steel surface and often inhibits further corrosion. The second is stress cracking, which is generally more important. It is difficult to detect and can lead to sudden failures. Systems designated sour in NACE MR0175 or ISO 15156 are considered susceptible to stress cracking failure and require selection and use of certain steels and welding procedures. CO2 is also corrosive to carbon steel. It dissociates in water to form carbonic acid. The higher the partial pressure of CO2, the higher its solubility and the lower the pH of the aqueous phase, which accelerates the corrosion rate. The corrosion product is iron carbonate, which does not generally adhere tightly to the steel surface and provides little corrosion protection. Gas sweetening and sulfur recovery plants are built to satisfy important environmental and safety concerns. These plants rarely generate any profit, but are necessary to produce a saleable gas that meets the required specifications. Generally, they represent a significant investment that also poses operating, safety, and materials of construction challenges. Any financial benefit from their operation, outside of the ability to sell the produced gas, is restricted to revenue from the sale of sulfur and the waste heat generated in sulfur production. Sulfur purchasers commonly convert this to sulfuric acid elsewhere, which is primarily used in fertilizer manufacturing. This skill module discusses the topics shown here.
You may also be interested in these gas conditioning and processing principles skill modules.